Yo, what's up? This is Just Rock, Florida's Flow Gangs, Zoo Rock, Mighty Zulu Kings. Just wanna do a quick video in response to Cell Space, uh, the closing jam, and just wanna talk about a little bit about my memory of of Cell Space. Um, being from the UK, um, I don't get to go to the the spot obviously as as often as a lot of the other people, but I I have really good memory of the spot. Um, my first time. Going to Cell Space, I remember was 2008 when I traveled to San Francisco for Mighty Four. I remember that year with DJ Timber was one of my teacher was DJing at the jam, so um, I saved some money and I went out there and kind of try and test myself. I was still relatively new in the game at the time. I mean, I'm still pretty new, but at the time I was like, you know, almost like a total noob at the time. And I remember um, I only got to go to Cell Space, I think, only one time during that stay. I was only there in San Francisco for like maybe a week. And I remember already back then it was a Monday session in Cell Space. And this was before I even know Wacko and I know before I even know Profo or Rob or Jeff or Miles and all those dudes in San Francisco. So it was, uh, I remember it being a surreal experience when I when I stepped into that building. It's um there's something about that building, you know, like you go in there and it's kind of like vintage looking. It like kind of looks like kind of like a warehouse a little bit. Like there's graffiti outside, and I remember like you know when I it really opened my eye that time because um it was nothing like uh, the kind of training spot that we have back home. Like we train like I train at the at like a youth center, kind of similar to to cell space, but um the vibe was different. I remember being quite Probably, I would say, looking back at it now, I would say I was pretty intimidated because the, the session was really just like a jam. It wasn't really like a practice session that we have back home, you know, like people were going off. I don't re really remember who was there, but I, re I vaguely remember like Iron Monkey was there. I remember Wicked being there. Provo probably was there, but I, 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 wasn't, I didn't know who he was back then, so... I was just like um, this foreign guy from abroad coming here and just trying to practice. And I remember like, I think Rat Pack was there. I'm not sure if I was right, I could be wrong, but it was just people like kind of vibing and ciphering and people were battling, I remember. And the the, um, the energy was really crazy. It was really intense. And after like settling in, I, I felt like, you know, I can like get down a little bit. And I remember just being really inspired, leaving that jam and kind of like, almost wanted to bring a little bit of that back home and kind of like, you know, pass it on to the local scene back home. And ever since that time, I think the next time I got to go to Cell Space was probably this recent October, like October 2013. I, I came out for, initially came out to New York for um, for the Zulu anniversary. And then after New York, I paid a visit to San Francisco like for like 10 days maybe just seven days something like that 10 days seven days and um, this time was a was a different kind of mindset because uh oh, ever since then the, the first time i um got into floor gangs and then ended up being in the same crew as profo and also um got to know wako from like traveling around and got to be quite close friends with him so and then i met like jeff in japan and a few other times and i met like um just like some of the local people there I, I kind of like uh, connected or built with over the years and then so this time going back to cell space was a totally different ball game you know like I kind of go in there knowing that this spot was dope and knowing that this is probably one of the best like spot I've ever been to and I think at this time I went two times like two Mondays I went and yo like I can honestly say I've been around the world like different training spots different jams and stuff like there's just something special about that spot. Like for me, it's probably one of the my favorite practice spot outside of my hometown. You know, like for sure, just because of the pure energy. And I just remember that the nothing. One thing that never changed was the fact that people are still ciphering. People are still calling people out. People are still battling. And I, you know, I remember like battling one dude like the last session I had there, and then we had a good exchange. And then after that, it was just you know getting to build with the scene out there you know they were like diff this time there were more younger guys at the at, at the at the spot so it was nice to divide with the younger guys and at the same time i myself has you know grown also over the years so it was it was a total different experience for me but i really 
just enjoy the non-stop energy that that spot has to offer and it's always like you know there's there is never a moment where somebody is n- where nobody is dancing there's always somebody like jamming in the middle or, like there's always a cypher going on sometimes a battle going on and at the same time they are like you know profo sometimes i see him like me and him like was just, just like exchanging vocabulary and like also like steezy was there like, his girl so it was nice to like build with the local scene at the same time you know i see people on the side also teaching the younger generation and i felt like that's what a uh, a real session should be it's not just about the self it's about like giving to other people too so i'm sure like it's going to be like i don't even live at that scene and i feel like i will miss that spot just because i know how dope that spot is so it's a real it's a real real shame to hear that it's closing but you know like there's only so much a community can do so the best thing to do now instead of like being sad and sorry about it is to go out on a high you know like just this closing jam that Waco is putting on together is really something that is dope because it really make you guys make everybody remember the spot for what it is and just to like highlight the positive over the years and really really you know go out on a high you know like people should come and support it like if I don't live in Asia right now and like I mean it's, I have a job now in Asia so it's very hard for me to to take a, a holiday for me but if that jam was actually in my holiday I wouldn't hesitate to book a flight just to go to San Francisco for this jam because not just because of the spot itself but because of the local scene out there is like actually one of my favorite scene and a city in the world you know so I know always every time I go there I have a good time and I have homies out there so but yeah so like that being said I just want to say like you know it's a sad it's a sad thing to see this um, spot go but at the same time, I fully support the fact that you guys are making a big jam out of it. And I hope that everybody in the surrounding area or whatever can make it. And, you know, there's still time to save money if you're abroad trying to hit this jam up. I'm sure it's going to be epic. And I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of good time. So I respect to Wako for doing this. And sorry this video is a bit late. But yeah. Peace.